breaking news that's coming in about the 2024 U.S. presidential elections. The first polling stations have, in fact, opened. The voting has begun in Vermont now. U.S., remember, chooses between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Let me go across to my colleague, Srinjoy Chaudhary. He is a Times Network consultant as well, Srinjoy. Uh, finally, we've reached that day when U.S. presidential election is being held. The voting has begun in United States through the day today and tomorrow. We'll see the voting as well as the results taking place. Uh, kind of a crucial campaign with all eyes, not just of Americans, but the entire world on the U.S. presidential elections. Will it be Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? Well, at this point, nobody knows because this is one of the closest elections the Americans have ever been involved in. Perhaps the only exception to this is probably the Gore versus Bush election of 2000, when the results in Florida, the hanging chads, actually ensured that Bush would win uh, the presidency. But as far as this is concerned, it's been a very dirty election. It's been a very competitive election. And, of course, as you rightly said, there have been two assassination attempts. Uh, there has been a change of the presidential candidate for the Democrats, uh, Joe Biden handing it over to Kamala Harris. At this point, uh, the lead that uh, the uh, Republican candidate, Donald Trump, has is very, very minuscule. It's even less than 1 percent. So, actually, uh, these are all opinion polls. Nobody knows how this is going to turn out. And as you rightly said, there are these seven swing states. But very importantly, three swing states will decide who is president and who is not. If Kamala Harris wins Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan, which is called the Blue Wall, she's well on her way to becoming president. But is she going to win those states? Because in at least one of them, possibly Pennsylvania, uh, Trump may be half a point ahead. And these are going to be very close fights. Every vote will count in these three sta uh, states, as well as the other ones, like Georgia and North Carolina and Arizona and Nevada and so on, out of the 50. That's one. Secondly, the question that is now being asked is, what if the reason for that is the first decision a presidential candidate makes is his or her vice presidential nominee? In the case of Kamala Harris, it was, it is Tim Waltz, who is a very good person, Midwesterner, everything is fine. But this was at the expense of Josh Shapiro who is a very powerful political leader in Pennsylvania. The, the belief now is that if Shapiro had been president, a, a vice presidential candidate, Pennsylvania would be in the bag because he's very popular in Pennsylvania. And if, if Shapiro, who was, who was considered very seriously, but perhaps the fact that he's Jewish and very, very hardline pro-Israel, and that would alienate people, Arab Americans in yes. Michigan and other places was taken into account. That if he had been on the, on the ballot, Pennsylvania would have been in Kamala Harris's bag and would the other two states and she would be president. Now, of course, it's up in the air and we will have to see in about 24 hours what happens in these three states and the other four.